very good morning to all. Uh, the world around us is still struggling because of this corona outbreak. Since its emergence in the December 2019 in Wuhan, China, it has now affected over 185 countries around the world, claiming lakhs of human lives and becoming a greatest human tragedy. Along with those human tolls, it has triggered a deep economic crisis. While discussing about economic crisis, we often forget about the social impact. The students of Wadi Rahma English School is conducting a panel discussion on the impact of the lockdown on women and children. Me, myself, Nada O, the coordinator of senior secondary of Vadirama English School. And let me introduce our panelists. First, Zaina Sajid of class 12, then Nihala Casey of class 12, and Shana Yasmin of class 12, Tida Mariam of class 10, and Shana Jasmine of class 12. In the beginning, we can talk about younger children, the impact <coughs> younger children. Zaina, she will be handling about the younger children. Okay. So the uh, major impact of this lockdown uh, to the younger children is that uh, more than uh, the, their mental health is being hugely affected. That means more than a third of 2,000 parents are told that they don't have enough support on uh, how to look after their children's mental health. And uh, many reported finding homeschooling a challenge for both themselves and their children. So uh, the majority of the parents, that is uh, about 87 persons, said that their children have uh, communicated that they are missing school and just under uh, half of them are responded that they are feeling lonely. So parents express uh, concern about the lack of social interaction their children are receiving while the schools are closed. It was also found that 55% uh, of the children are currently doing less than the recommended 60 minutes of their daily physical activity. Uh, and uh, while coronavirus continues to spread across the globe, uh, we all know well that many countries have decided to close schools as part of a social uh, distancing policy in order to slow transmission of the virus. However, uh, this closure of schools has affected the education of more than 1.5 billion children and youth worldwide uh, due to the coronavirus or this COVID-19 pandemic. It should be noted that uh, the closure of schools are likely to widen the learning gap between children from lower income and uh, higher income families. While many parents with access to technology and internet are uh, increasingly, increasingly turning to online education technology to keep their kids learning at home while some may not be able to. Uh, so in a recent survey from India Welfare Trust, uh, it has shed light on how children are bearing the burden of the unprecedented outbreak. And uh, the worst part is that it is the poor and the marginalized children who are going to be most affected by the lockdown. The impact of the pandemic on children is insidious and is going to be long lasting. So the uh, imaginary of this uh, hardship that this uh, poor children are gonna face is really hard to achieve. Uh, we can imagine the hardship of children on the road with very limited food and water is uh, really unimaginable. Like we don't think about how many children were there, like what happened to them in the way and all these things. But then uh, still some states like Kerala and uh, West Bengal and all, they are trying to uh, provide uh, food to the poor section of their economy and it is really appreciable. This way we can uh, clear this, those problems uh, in this weaker sections of the economy. Uh, critically, we need to make sure that children are getting the support they need to manage this on a daily basis. So we can do this uh, by empowering parents with a right tool to encourage a holistic approach to mental health whether this is mindfulness activity, uh, getting creative or staying active. In response to the crisis, Premier Education has completed a free activity pack that parents can use at home. Uh, so we can, uh, what we can do is we can get our children engaged in many creative activities and this time can be used uh, to bring out their true potential. 
inside okay thank you zaina then while going to the elder students the teenagers the uh, how the teenagers uh, pursuit of education is affected how they are psychologically affected by this lockdown fida mariam is online can you explain fida about that yeah sure hope you are all enjoying the lockdown the lockdown is have affected the teenagers very seriously if we look in an education way very different that in education i the teenagers are going through a very different way that is online classes most of them would not have been to these online classes that they are getting it's very difficult for them to go with that they cannot uh, control themselves that they cannot can, uh, understand how the classes taken are it's a companionship that is there with the teachers and students which make them more understand the lessons if i take my condition i will say i don't understand any of the chapters which was take which has taken in online so it is so different so if we look at in psychologically it's very different that school is the most important thing for a teenager because that is the world they have if for trends teens if we check it psychology friends are the main thing they need for because that is the time the development process are taking place so the friends they have other more things but when we are closed in our homes we don't have the contact with our friends so it is so difficult for everyone to cope up with that so the social distance is very dif uh, very difficult for the teenagers because they are being su suppressed in their homes if we look uh, not only the people we should not look only the higher people we should look also the lower people if we look at the lower people it will be very difficult for the girls to go and learn this go and learning is the only thing they get to get away from their parents some fathers are like they don't don't like to let their children go and study and all but because of some reasons they go and study but in this time being they will get uh, opportunity to make the children away from the studies and they can they take them to marry they can take the children and marry for marriage in a way they can want so it is very difficult for the teenagers to cope up with this in teenagers also is a time when people is developing emotional and behavioral autonomy the feeling thinking and they the self governing is uh, the age is that age so they want to govern themselves so demand from the other parents uh, parents teachers social will make them so brittle that is very very difficult for them to cope with this they want to make their own decisions and they will will want to live in their own way so when others come and come in their way it is very difficult for them this social distancing and is very difficult because if uh, if we take the teenagers we can if we look at the psychology psychology says that the main thing main main job of being an adolescent is making a great, great friend intimate friendship so intimate friendship is having intimate friend very is very critical development task that is the real main job of an adolescent a socially and get they get uh, trained socially and emotionally by this so uh, all the things we get to learn are from this are uh, to compromise to forgive to be patient we learn everything from a friendship so this is the time when we get our development in our in our mind in our body so it is uh, it will affect uh, the teenagers more in if we in another way teenagers are also a category which does not fall on the women and children they are getting separated if we go if they go to the children's category they cannot play play with them and if they go to adult they cannot do with them also so they are in an alone way the solutions that they can uh, the parents can do to make the tension and to release the tension of the students are they can accompany with them they can tell acknowledge them about the consequences of the corona virus and they can make them uh, uh, take the other works and make uh, their skills improve so if uh, if we look at the way, way that uh, parents can become their friends like not only the children in schools can be their friends so the parents also can be good friends that parents can understand they if they become good friends they can understand their feelings and they should always try to keep a talk with them 
not like uh, let them go in their way don't let them go in their way because it is very difficult to cope for them to cope up with this all different world and online classes will affect them very badly that if uh, the screen screen time full of the at looking at the screen for a whole time if i take my condition i will say i will look at the one hour at my phone and after that i will when i start up i just feel like fainting that is it is because the phone we have we are looking at the screen for a long time and if we look the people who don't have internet and computers and all it's very difficult for them to study because it is not easy for them to have network for me itself two two three days i didn't have the network and i got a load of work so if we took take about the poor children and who are studying in the cbsc by taking so much of effort it will make them so hard to cope up with this that's all yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I I understand because uh, the infrastructure is uh, inaccessible for majority of the teenage students in India, especially, and uh, this uh, breakdown, uh, this lockdown has uh, caused the parents to stay at home, right? Uh, so they are struggling in their home because businesses are closed, industries are closed, their job they have lost their jobs, and some are working at home. So we have Nihala Kesey here, who will talk about this uh, working class women, uh, including the daily wages. Uh, Nihala, can you explain how what 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 has affected how lockdown has affected working class women? Nihala, yeah, so can you hear me? Yeah, sure. So we all know that all of us are affected due to this outbreak of this virus. But out of all, women are affected the most, I must say, especially the working women. They have uh, this work workload from their work and the also from household chores. So uh, the pressure from and stress from both the work will affect them. And um, during, uh, I must say that uh, this virus is uh, said to have hit the lower middle class even worse than that. Socially poor. This is because the socially poor have more aid and support from various organizations. So the socially poor may easily get food rations, package food, or many other uh, donations from other organizations. But the lower class section just above the get affected the most. The lower middle class consists of mainly daily wage workers. You know that. And uh, let's see this uh, more in details. Uh, like, uh, so her husband in a family could be an auto driver, and a mother could be a housewife, from a servant. And the eldest uh, child, if male, can be an assistant mechanic, or a uh, girl can assist can assist to be in a pharmacy. Most of uh, their their service. Uh, they receive salary in month and send the savings of this section of economy is very low. It's uh, it's so low that most of them want to have uh, cash saved in, in case of medical emergency. So the lockdown begins and the people are the hardest working in the, of the society and most of them hate to ask out the help help or in wait or wait in queues for rations and other may affect their status due to many other reasons. So um, the, those who are, those, the daily wages will affect this very little because their expenses are increasing day by day and their income, they don't, have, uh, they, they don't, they don't, they don't get any income. Like uh, the, for example, in this uh, family, the mother who is working as a servant uh, by going to the nearby houses, uh, she will not have any income or the other family members also. So uh, this will affect that family and uh, all the burden will be about in her head because um, the fr pressure from the house and also from this also will affect her. And if you're taking the upper class woman, where, where, when usually when we speak about this province, we usually look at the socially poor, but when we look at the upper class woman, he says that they have uh, uh, salaries and they have work, they can work from home. But um, like, we can see that majorities, uh, they, they have lost their jobs and they have paid only half salaries. And uh, some of them are only paid till March, uh, that is before the, this lockdown. And 
Um, and this, uh, if, for example, uh, if uh, we can take an example of an entrepreneur woman who, who is owning a firm. So uh, if, uh, if, uh, if we, she will have many savings, but it will not last for long because if this lockdown is extended like this, uh, she cannot stand with that savings. So uh, she will open that firm, uh, but uh, who, who all are uh, like the related organizations or the people who are related with that firm will not come forward uh, because uh, they are uh, afraid of this virus or if who are coming forward, they will be charged a huge fine by police or something. So, um, like when uh, when she is, yeah, and also when, they have uh, obligations. No, they have obligations to her own employees and other other groups who are dependent on her. And also, she is working. If they are working from home, they have to take care of their own children who are also locked down in their home, right? Yeah. Uh, so the this pressure and the uh, that uh, household chores and the. Uh, they are like they want to take care of the family also, so the, the pressure from both sides will increase. Uh, like, so I must say that uh, this lockdown has a great impact on working women. Uh, so we we cannot only focus on this uh, socially poor because they are getting mainly aid from governments. So uh, we should look uh, in this upper class. Yeah, women also. Both, both the section of the society, the women of uh, lower income as well as the higher income are affected by this lockdown. Right. Yes. Okay, thank you, Nihana. So, uh, then we all have the struggle for lockdown because we all are confined at home. Confined at home means it is a struggle. But what about the homeless? But what about the people who, who are not at home? We can discuss about the migrant laborers. Shana Yasmin is online to discuss about them. Shana, can you explain how, what happened to them, how they are affected? Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, I think it's better to start with a story, uh, not a story, a real life story. A migrant worker in the village of Rajasthan has left the people's heart over the note he wrote after stealing a cycle from a house. Because in this note, he explains the necessity and misery due to which he had to steal the bike, uh, sorry, cycle, and also apologize for this act. He done this to for his uh, specially able child who can't work and uh, they need to reach their home it's about 270 kilometers so they're just doing this for their uh, for their own survival to get uh, to their home so uh, there are lots of juices spreading nowadays and we can see that um, and i'm here explaining a very few of them uh, to see how uh, it how badly it affected the people migrant workers also uh, a fight broke out at the uh, railway station between migrant workers for packets of free food being, distri being distributed a tragic video of workers fighting for a packet of food went viral on social media they were stopped in midway at this station several of them had been traveling without food for days and when local administration arranged for free food packets, these workers are just uh, just need to get the help and they just wanted to eat something after a long hours. So this also explains or reflects the real pathetic condition. Then uh, there is also another story uh, from like now a 24 year old woman uh, is on her 900 kilometer journey to her home on uh, walking and uh, she uh, carries a small bag in one hand and three-year-old daughter in one hand and also the news explains that she is only graduated up to age standard and she needs to educate her child uh, and also she saves 3000 rupees uh, for her child uh, future for the future of her child and she is not uh, ready to spend any of the money from this 3000 for this purpose or uh, 
anyway she is uh, very mm. fearful and she is worried how can she how can uh, save her child from this dread corona and uh, another one is that you already familiar fam- i think you are, you are already familiar with this news 16 migrant workers were crushed to death by a goods train when they were attempting attempting to make their way to aurangabad railway station with the hope of catching a train to their home in aurangabad also they are using this railway because uh, to get rid of the police uh, all the police administration and uh, uh, we can see this uh, this is our pathetic pathetic condition and uh, also there is a news about migrant women giving birth on the road sites uh, then another one is that in telangana a migrant worker who is in her 7 month of pregnancy determined to walk 800 km to her, her home in bilapur and all this uh, reflects the and then uh, sudden nationwide lockdown which just happens in 4 hours and also the government did little to help this workers also the government is saying that they are giving 85 percentage of free fare for the train but the reality is not that the indian railway is still charging full fare and also india has 5.6 crore uh, interstate migrants according to the 2011 census uh, but its actual rate is very high and an economic professor at jawaharlal nehru university estimated it is about 6.5 crore people uh, my interested migrants are still there so all these people are just suffering a lot and uh, we can see a lot of million of dreams are just buried under this lockdown and any the government is defend them about this and they are just losing their livelihood for this corona i think more than uh, by uh, dying with the in uh, covid virus there will be more deaths about this issue and uh, uh, we can see that that's all okay then thank you yasmin uh, for giving the insights over the migrant laborers it is uh, it is hard hard throbbing to hear about their stories and uh, we billions of people are inside the home but home is it the safest place chana jasmine is with us talking about the homemaker women who are working 24/7 around the clock to meet the needs of her and her family and everyone inside the home she is working 24/7 so talk about how this homemaker women are affected by this lockdown yes uh, before that uh, let me say that it's a very unexpected and unwelcome guest we have now this virus also uh, everybody like everybody have their own problems like each society like uh, upper class lower class middle class each uh, everyone have their own problems so coming to the point let me say that from the total population of women 7 percentage of women are unemployed so uh, let me talk about that women like the problems they face uh, face during this lockdown so we can classify uh, their problems into two that is physical and mental problems before that let me say about one thing uh, super women syndrome i think uh, we all are familiar with that because uh, it means that a uh, woman neglect herself and find perfection in mini role and she count the failure and success in terms of tangible assets nowadays it's very common so coming to the point uh, let me say about this uh, physical and mental problems first we can deal with this mental problems uh, like this days uh, study says that burden of homemaker increased see obviously it will increase like uh, every everybody like kids uh, children uh, fa- uh, parents everybody under same roof for uh, many days it's very hard to deal with especially with the kids they want to go out but now it's uh, not possible so putting them inside the house it's all terribly difficult and lot of stress uh, lack of sleep everything it's affected and next uh, we can talk about this physical problem they uh, have uh, so physical problems uh, means like uh, uh, they uh, 
the abusement of women we know this uh, domestic violence and abusement of women so nowadays you can see that uh, national council of women that is ncw they uh, received mere 52% of complaints from this women also we are familiar with one thing uh, one uh, it's very viral uh, video we know that a girl from us called us helpline because uh, she and her mother is abused see i already mentioned that uh, everybody have uh, their own everybody have uh, their own problems but uh, 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 one more thing like uh, some of them keep made for work but uh, nowadays it's not possible uh, no maid can go and work see uh, with all this in mind uh, let me say that uh, it, it's not able to avoid uh, community but we can control like uh, providing them counselors for counseling classes and online also it's available uh, also uh, making them to sit with us and uh, see some videos or uh, what giving uh, entertain or uh, helping them with their works we can do and uh, we cannot say that this virus uh, uh, where it's uh, heading towards uh, so we cannot completely avoid just we can reduce uh, the problems so that's it. so yeah. thank you thank you jasmine and also this the uh, thing is that even the chief minister of a state has advised the other people to uh, help the uh, women in the home uh, it is you know the uh, culture of the society is that he, we, women has to do her own work others work also she was supposed to do if she is at home she is supposed to do all the work and the chief minister himself has come to tell others to help them uh, what a tragic situation isn't it jasmine yeah well and you have explained the condition of the world also so what corona has done is that it has given an insight to the society the problems of the society it showed us what is going on in the society from this lockdown only we understood that uh, we ourselves how we are considering the lowest strata of society how we are uh, accepting the vulnerables of society so this is an uh, this has uh, what an eye opener we can say covid 19 is an eye opener we are going to evolve and we ourselves are uh, going to evolve and we are spreading a message that everyone should evolve from this situation and uh, we should lead ahead we should uh, uh, what we can change the world from from you know post corona world should be a changed one our vulner vulnerables we should take care of the vulnerables when any disaster comes we will be there isn't it are you are you with us yes. okay then we can conclude our panel discussion this discussion is not getting over we are discussing till we get a result and a change thank you thank you all for all the panelists thank you very much Thank you.